Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Konda le senderido shunda bakanda la si si ando kun ma shende. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. O bo sandri o shonda ba si si onda ba 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 kaya no so. In the sonda da baba shendri si si anda da ko le sindri ko la. A mon setter roche mindi ko sa yekele sindri o shanda. Mende so sa si onda la raba shis komondri haya. Oh, my sende, kobobobu sandara po shenda. Si so kon dele lush kende, me sa tararo she. Ma kai si ko pa la sinde di ko la sandara ko la. My soro shende kinde di si so saba sedri o ko la gashona. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Ko ba si si o abasanda. Shasi ko ba sati ne siti ni ni e sonda mahaya. From the rising of the sun, hallelujah. Until the going down of the very same sun, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ is to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It is the name of the Lord Jesus Christ who is to be praised from the rising of your very sun. Though the sun moves at the command of the God Almighty, though it rises at the commanded time and it sets at the commanded time, yet you are to praise at the rising of it. You see, mankind. A corn the sea to the boha, sea bokala. We have been bringing much understanding. Unto you, mankind, through speaking, through the female scribe of God, much understanding and what we have taken notice to, <laughs> is that many will listen in the beginning out of the curiosity, you see. But because it is not of enough entertainment to them or because they lack understanding of the things that they hear, they fall away just as it is written how when the word goes forth it may fall on stony grounds and it may fall on good grounds you see this is what 
we see happening in uh, the land hearers allow me to tell you what we hear in the kingdom of God see as we look upon you as a people for there are many witnesses that are speaking concerning the revelations that God Almighty is giving unto them and they are declaring and speaking out on those things that they have seen and heard and though you listen with ears of zeal it is not out of love it is out of curiosity you see and once you have had your ears tickled enough you then fall away and look for the next person speaking again it all it is all out of curiosity you see but what we have noticed here in the kingdom of god is that Many ears are hearing from the very witnesses, but it is only out of curiosity. And those who remain, the remnant, you see, the remnant that remain and continue to listen ha, and take heed to the many testimonies that are coming forward. It is they who will gain understanding and knowledge from the things that they hear from the witnesses, those of you who have given ear and then have turned away, you have, you are what we call stony ground, you see. The good word came, you see. The good word came, but it could not remain with you because you are stony ground. Nothing can take root in you, you see. Therefore, I say unto you from the kingdom of God, you who have turned away, <laughs> you who have heard the testimonies and took not heed of it and turned away from it as if it were entertainment. You are stony ground, you see, and you are moving within your proper steps for these end times, you see. For everyone has a role to play in these times. As you see, there will be some who will stay and take heed. They are playing their role. And there are some who will hear and fall away. They are playing their role. Just as at the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, he has a role to play in these end times. He will come and retrieve his bride. It is then the end. Antichrist, the ultimate Antichrist, will come upon the scene and he will play <laughs> his role. Must. You see, everyone has a role 
to play and it is true that comes out of the mouth of the female scribe that not all will reign with the Lord Jesus Christ <laughs> and most of mankind that walk your land know this already you see and some of them are living simply out of curiosity, you see. They are strong enough not to allow suicide to speak into their ears and persuade them to do the act of suicide. See that the purpose and the strive of their living now is curiosity <laughs> you see it is not unto the glory of God Almighty that is not their the desire to live hmm? it is not to please mankind they have no love or respect for mankind you see they are living out of curiosity. They say to themselves, I will not die because I want to see this end and how it will be. Do you understand, scribe of God, that there are people in your land that speak just that ignorantly, child? And if they are going to bring some type of balance in these end times, child. I am amazed always as I listen to the ignorance that comes from the mouth of mankind, child. And what you must understand, scribe of God, is that those who desire to hear your words will continue to listen for they understand that the words that proceeded out of your mouth are not yours but uh, for mine here in the kingdom of God. They have the understanding and know this child it may not be a complete and absolute understanding child but they have just enough understanding to know that the words that come from your mouth they are different that they are not of the people that walk your land child see they listen with a keen ear child and I call them all wise you see a wise man hears a wise man first hears then he takes heed to the things that he has heard child as a master over the sheep can call for the sheep child and a stranger they will not follow child when they listen or I should say as they listen child and even now as they listen they are learning the voice of their Lord of their master that is me child they are learning my voice, child. One who spends intimate time with another will become familiar with the voice of his master and or lover. And when a stranger speaks, they will not look towards him, child. Those of you who are still listening to the words that come from the mouth of the female scribe, I applaud you and I call you good ground. <laughs>
For those who started off in the beginning with you, who are no longer, they were not a good ground, you see. No root could take place as they had itching ears and when a word is spoken that does not appease them, they fall away, you see. And some, out of curiosity, even come back. But then they get offended again, you see. Why? Moshen de Bikola Mahanda, do they become offended from the words that come from the mouth of the female scribe when the words are not hers? <laughs> you see, we observe mankind. Mankind truly is respect of persons, you see, and they desire to hear a word from a different people, child. Ah, uh, but it is the wise and the chosen that continue to take heed and find no offense in the female scribe. For if you cannot identify a vessel, one must know what a vessel is in order not to become offended with the vessel. If one should pour coffee into a coffee cup, then the coffee cup has a crack in it. Do not get offended with the coffee cup, but the one who served you the coffee in the coffee cup. Your offense should go toward the one who served you in a coffee cup that had a crack in it, you see. Now, this vessel that I speak to, this female scribe of God, is a butt a vessel so when one becomes offended with the words that come from the mouth of the female vessel ah your offense should not be toward the vessel for she is but empty but the words are from we here in the kingdom of god turn your offense towards us and we will deal with you <laughs> but the offense Hence, you see, should not be directed toward the vessel. You understand what I am saying? If this female vessel was a coffee cup, she would have no feelings toward you, for a coffee cup is void of feelings and affection. But the female scribe is not void of feelings and affection affections, you see? Ah, and there have been moments when she has brought to our attention here in the kingdom of God that she has become offended by the words that mankind speak into her ears concerning the words that come from her mouth. But we had to teach her. She, one must understand the purpose of a thing and know how to use a thing and then there will be no confusion you see if I give you a coffee cup I am not expecting you to pour hot tea into it it may crack the glass for the density of coffee is thicker than the density of tea, you see. Ha! Things are made and are created with purpose, you see. And mankind was created for the 
purpose and for the good pleasure hmm, of God Almighty. And it is He who decides which vessel He decides to use. Now, the understanding of the vessel that being of clay or this female vessel must first understand what they are. Understand this, listeners. The scribe of God understands now that she is but a vessel. If when we have completed all that we desire to say through this vessel, you will not hear any additional words come from the mouth of this female scribe. It is as putting your hands inside of a puppet, you see. It is your hand that causes the puppet to become lively, but when you do not put your hand in the puppet, therefore there is no life. When we here in the kingdom of God have become satisfied with the words that we desire to speak through the female scribe, we will remove our presence from her and you people in the land will no longer hear from her. That, hearers, is knowing that you are a vessel, you see. That is knowing you are a vessel. Make uh, apply that information to your lives so that you can understand that the time will come when you will no longer hear from the female scribe and there will be other witnesses that you will no longer hear from. It is because they are vessels and they understand that they are vessels. You see, when one has finished using a vessel and the vessel continues after the employment of her is terminated, that vessel is moving on their own accord and the employer who once was is no longer responsible for the words that cometh out of the vessel's mouth, you see. When the kingdom of God is finished, you see, Abba Shiko using with honor this female scribe of God, we will have no more employment for her. So she shall be placed on the side and obedience would say you will not hear from her anymore. But if the scribe of God should take it upon herself to continue with her own word, see she is moving out of her own strength then <laughs> and then she will receive true offense because the words will be hers you see and it will be her words to build her a reputation for her to hallelujah offend or not to offend, but it is at this time that the kingdom of God has great pleasure using this female scribe of God, and we are well pleased with her, and 
in her. Hallelujah. Eko haya. So therefore we have persuaded. Haba so kuna. We have persuaded her not to take uh, offense. Hallelujah. To the words that mankind should say unto her in response to the words that they hear that comes from her mouth again because the words are not hers and woe unto those who do speak of threatening words towards her because of the words that come from her mouth, for the words are not hers, and your threats are toward the speaker who is we from the kingdom. You see, mankind has bad understanding. We agree with that word that mankind say. We have heard you say in your land that a person can have bad understanding. We nod our heads to that now and with agreeing that yes, mankind does have bad understanding. And even though the letters are readily available unto them, Yet, they do not understand, nor do they read to gain understanding. Mankind will have no one to blame but themselves, as they have no one to blame now concerning their downfalls, troubles and calamities. It is the unclean lifestyle that they are living that bringeth upon them troubles. They do not understand that the wages of sin continueth. Wages of sin is from continuous acts of sin. As mankind sin, the wages continue to build. Mankind is lacking great understanding concerning the wisdom of God. Abo Sandarakaya Ni Sandarahola. They are lacking great understanding 